Key Largo in the upper Florida Keys. I'm out here in 285 feet of water trolling. The target is Dolphin and I'm with Bree Andresy and she's hooked up to a good one. Stay tuned to see how this catch turns out. George Poveromo's world of saltwater fishing. Big fish don't stand a chance. Anyone who trailers down to the Florida Keys or even drives down here to charter one of the vessels, who does not get thoroughly excited when you start crossing over the Jewfish Creek Bridge in North Key Largo? That's when you have a good look both directions you look at that water and your enthusiasm just starts to rally and that was the case as many years and i hate to say it decades as i've been fishing the florida keys that excitement level of trailering my own boat here crossing over the jewfish creek bridge and entering the key largo it just ramps you up because riding shotgun on this trip was a noted offshore kayak fishing specialist brie andresy so the first time that I got to fish with George, we went offshore of Key West and I got to see my first school of dolphin come up and we were chasing the weed lines and that was one of the most amazing sights, seeing all these dolphin come up to the boat. And this time we got to target them too and I was ecstatic. The goal was to go out and chase dolphin in the Florida Keys out of Key Largo and it was the end of May. So we came into the Pilot House Marina, docked our boat, and that was gonna be the base of where we'd start our fishing exploits. The beauty of the Pilot House Marina is you're right there at the mouth of the Atlantic Ocean. You clear that canal and it's wide open waterways for you. Bree and I were heading offshore and the goal was to really pretty much go on the troll. I think it's uh, interesting, it's intriguing to me to, to be able to troll because I can't set that up on, on the kayak. I can't go that fast. Bree is a sport. What I notice, here she is, she's grabbing the baits. She's starting to hook them up to the rods. Then I see her getting ready to run an outrigger bait up, and I'm thinking, you know, she doesn't have outriggers on the sea to wear the kayak, and you know, how she had adapted to this, but she's right there hooking up the baits, setting the lines out, and I said, boy, well, this is a pretty good convenience. The funny thing that I, I thought, if you're like most anglers, you have superstitions. And one of mine is, is you don't take the gaff out until you have a fish that's solidly hooked up. So I see her go to the bow of the Mark VI and she's bending down and going under the gunnel. And I'm wondering what she's doing. And she comes back with the gaff and puts it right there in one of the trolling rod holders. And no one has ever done that. You always have to be ready with the gaff. Uh, George was saying that I was being optimistic. I was like, I'm being ready. <laughs> Pump and wine, you know, <laughs> nice and smooth. Get that rhythm. Yeah. Did you get a look at the fish at all? Yeah, it's a dolphin. All right, good. Solid breach, I think, at least. My eyes are, <laughs> don't always trust my eyes. <laughs> you don't go with it so far, Bree? Yeah. All right, I'm leaving the other three baits in play just in case they have some companions. Now, did you see what we did on that? Woo. We were dragging under that frigate bird and then nothing. So I made another pass and I said, let me try to sink and swim. I go into neutral, just enough to let the bait sink, make it look like the injured bait. And then right before I bumped up again, it got hit. So I gave the boat a little throttle, hope you set the hook and saw you. And then what I'm gonna do, you keep working on that and then I'll slip around to your left. All right. And then I'll go for the, the gaff shot. Money shot. Uh, you just keep doing what you're doing. Okay. Oh, it's so beautiful. Keep going, you're doing well. Keep Hold going, wind down, wind down. Wow, look at that blue. <laughs> I don't think I've ever caught one with the colors like that, so blue. I, you know, I, I came close. I took the first shot I had. I might have ruined a little bit of meat there, but I wanted to fish in here for you. I don't want to mess around with it too badly. Uh, you know, when you first see that, blue green color it just it does something for me it, it my heart starts pumping and uh you just see the the blue fins and it's it's just a beautiful beautiful sight george poveromo's world of saltwater fishing is proudly brought to you by pen let the battle begin 
Mako. You'll find them where the fish are. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Mercury Marine. Go boldly. George, we'll be right back. Trolling covers a lot of water, which is sometimes essential to locate dolphin. I'm with Bree Andersey, and we're dragging baits in the high seas off Key Largo in the Florida Keys. So we're trolling along, and another question that I get asked a lot is, what is the perfect trolling speed for dolphin? It's like a magical number exists while you've trolled. This for dolphin, this for wahoo, there's no magical number. What constitutes the perfect trolling speed is that whatever baits that you have out back, if they're skipping baits, you want them right on the top skipping, not flying three or four feet out and re-entering the water. You want them right on top, just splashing, looking alive. Once you have that bait spread out and all those baits are really looking enticing, that would be the perfect trolling speed. I was watching the, the sim rep machine or looking out front for birds. You're doing so many things to try to fine fish. It's not just staring at the trolling baits the whole time. Bree had that covered. Oh, I was just watching watching the lines and all of a sudden um, I realized that the one outrigger line was down and I didn't even hear it pop off. And I look back and I, I see this tail and it's flipping and I'm like, that that's definitely not the bait. And so, you know, we slow down a little bit, start reeling, realize that there was a dolphin on. Well, and you didn't even know you had a fish on. No, I you? just saw it skipping off the back. And I was like, there's something on that one. <laughs> Lo and behold. Definitely a dolphin. Oh. Nice. Right, Ride a little bit more, oh. grab me the leader. We'll, we'll let this one go. All right. Oh, it's pretty. Look at the colors. I <laughs> swing the rod right, tip right over. To you. Oh. There he is. Here, Bree, hold the hook. Got the hook. All right, we're gonna let this one go. <laughs> Say adios. Go back, get bigger. I'm driving a boat and, and I didn't even hear the clip come out. You're saying there's something on that line and I'm looking and, and, and there's there's no weeds and I just see a slight pin and that's, I don't see anything and you're cranking it. You're telling me yeah. there's something on that oh, line. I just saw something skipping out the back. I'm like, there's something on that. I thought it was something small and then I just saw it flipping and flipping as we were going and then looked over there and it was off. So you're doing okay. <laughs> like there's something on it. <laughs> Good karma. Turn this one free. We sent this one back in the ocean. Another bait out and back on the troll. Ocean Point Suites in Key Largo, it's a hidden gem. And we've been coming here for a number of years now. It's a very easy location to get to. And I keep coming back to the point where it almost sounds like a broken record. It's angler, boater friendly. It's a very nice complex in that there's a lot of things to do if you're not out on a boat and say people want to stay behind and just take in uh, the property. Large swimming pool, tennis courts, there's a marina, plus there's a ramp on the premises. And once again, the beauty being is out of their marina, you're a hop skipping away from the open Atlantic Ocean. The rooms, beautifully appointed. And again, they're condos or you can get them as rentals. And there's two bedroom suites, there's singles, and uh, some even larger than that. It's just an easy place to work out of. Ocean Point Suites, if you're coming down to Key Largo, make sure you look them up on the website. And if you have the opportunity to stay here, I guarantee you will not be disappointed. It's one angler-friendly place. George Poveromo's World of Saltwater Fishing is proudly brought to you by Simrad, 75 years of innovation in marine electronics. Rapala holds the world record for world records. Suffix always use the best line. Starbright Boat Care Products, blending technology with performance since 1973. George, we'll be right back. The hunt for dolphin continues off Key Largo in the Florida Keys. I'm with Bree Andersey, and we're about to change tactics. Part of the search for dolphin is, again, we had that strong east wind, 15, 20 knots for several days, and that tends to push the shoreward edge of the Gulf Stream in closer to shore, as well as weeds and bait. It pushes everything in tighter. So we did pick up fish on the troll. So I said, let's do something different here. Let's go on the drift and we'll drop down anywhere from 150 feet of water on in and see if we can't catch a bottom fish. So as we're drifting along, I decided to take a ballyhoo on a spinner and just cast it out 
and put it in a rod holder, maybe 60, 70 or so feet away from the boat. And we forgot about that and we're bottom fishing. And all of a sudden it reminded me that we had a rod up there when the rod bent and there's line screaming off of it and there's a dolphin taken to the air. Wow. Oh, that's Any such a pretty fish. <laughs> yeah, should I get another um, bait out there? Well, if I say we have another one, we have ready if another fish shows up. Well, it was so hey, cool. Hey, Bree. Yeah. How about that? We're that sitting was... here, bottom drifting, a bottom bait. Nice. And I said, let me pet a bow you on a spinner out front. You never know. I didn't even let it all the way out. The dolphin eats it. Yeah. I saw it eat. That was so cool. Ah, coming your way, bud. Right here. Here, you right him. There he is, Bree. Wow. <gasps> it's so pretty. Well, how are you feeling? You feeling benevolent that you want to let him go? Or do you want to take him for dinner? <laughs> That's your call. I mean, Here. I like to eat dolphins, so. I figured, as soon as you started to hesitate, I knew what the answer was going <laughs> to be. Breed, there's a gap on the other side of the console. Excuse me. That'd be nice. Uh, you wanted dinner take home style, right? Yes. I'll bring it up for you, no worries. All right. There you go. Ready. Oh, oh, oh. oh, no, oh no. That's all right. We're not going to take too many points off the scorecards. Let's just take, take your time just nice and easy. There you go. Uh, now go. Just okay, kidding. Let's try again. Go across. He could. The top of his, his back would be the better. We'll try one more time, Bree. I have all the confidence in the world in you. Okay, right. you got it in. We got him. <laughs> So we're bottom fishing and we're just dragging this value at the surface and that plays through and we catch a beautiful dolphin, which was uh, pretty cool on that. So when we went bottom fishing, still catching dolphin. And I thought it was funny because we spent most of the day trolling for him, looking for him, and then all of a sudden <laughs> they're coming to us. So we had these value out and we're coming in about 140 feet of water, maybe 130. And sure enough, spinning rod goes off again and there's another nice dolphin, takes to the air. I said, that's pretty amazing. We're on the troll catching dolphin, but just drifting and having two simple value drifting out on 40 pound test fluorocarbon liters somewhere near the surface, and these dolphin are finding them. That's a good one. This is definitely, your uh, gaffing skills honed? <laughs> honed to perfection? Practiced a little bit earlier, should be okay. <laughs> Pen, Spin Fisher 6, 6,500 reel, 12 pound test, Suffolk Superior monofilament. On the business end, it's Suffolk Advanced Fluorocarbon. It's a new fluorocarbon, and of course a VMC, live bait style hook because we're pitching for dolphin. And the bait of choice was a value. I come around. All the way around. Come around the back here. Go. You got him, Bree? <laughs> Bree, what a gaff. Excellent. We got him. Wow. That was a fish. <laughs> Can I tire you out? <laughs> it, it, it was challenging. All right, let's try to get the gaff out. OK. And then again, while bottom fishing, the Ballyu floundering about at the top scores yet another dolphin. Coral reefs worldwide continue to have challenges ranging from warm and ocean waters, higher acidity levels, and poor water quality from canals, sounds, bays, and tributaries. All this water eventually makes its way offshore. The Florida Keys continue to be instrumental in coral reef restoration efforts. One such group is the Coral Restoration Foundation. And who better to tell you what they're all about than Madeline Howard. Hi, my name is Madeline and I work at Coral Restoration Foundation. We are the largest coral restoration effort in the world and we work to restore coral reefs here in the Florida Keys, educate the public through our public dive programs and use science to further our techniques. It's a great time to come down here and get involved. Uh, we love to get the community into the water, helping us to restore coral reefs and learning all about this incredible ecosystem. George's Tackle Locker, brought to you by King Sailfish, the pioneer of catch and release mounts. Visit kingsailfish.com. 
I'm fully dedicated to keeping my boat clean and in showroom-like condition. Among the excellent reasons for doing so, a well-maintained boat brings in top dollar when it's time to sell, and it actually cleans up a lot faster. Starbright's Boat Care products have been keeping the shine on my Mark 6 Center consoles for decades. My go-to products include their non-skid deck cleaner, which removes even heavy grime, the likes of ground and chum and greasy footprints. Their super orange biodegradable citrus wash and wax enables the easy rinsing away of road grit, fish blood, and chum. Should additional cleaning power be required, I rely on Starbright's Extreme Clean and their Magic Sponge, which is a scuff and streak eraser. To ensure maximum visibility and protection from the elements, my weather enclosure utilizes Starbright's ViewGuard, which incidentally also doubles as an excellent cleaner for touchscreen electronics. Starbright's Boat Care products will have your rig looking good and save all sorts of cleanup time afterwards. Mercury Performance Stats, Key Largo, Florida Keys. Seas, four feet on average. Power, triple Mercury Verado 400 horsepower outboards. Props, Mercury Inertia Eco 21 inch pitches. Total miles traveled, 68. Consistent cruise, 4,300 RPM. Speed, 41 to 43 miles per hour. Total fuel burned, 72 gallons. We'll be right back. George Poveromo's World of Saltwater Fishing is proudly brought to you by the Florida Keys and Key West. Come as you are. ACR, the leader in marine safety electronics. Papa's Pilar Artesian Crafted Rum. Never a spectator. VMC, your expert in hooks. King Sailfish, the pioneer of catch and release mounts. Visit kingsailfish.com. So before we ran back to the Pilot House Marina, there was one mutton hole that I wanted to take Bree to, drop down a bait just to see what would happen. And maybe we cap off the trip with a mutton snapper. She drops down and we're about 80, 85 feet of water. And I'm watching the rod tip. You see tap, tap, the rod bends. She winds tight. And to me initially, it looked like she had a fish, but I think something happened where it got around a sea fan or whatever, because it looked like she became hooked on bottom. I swear it was bottom and then I don't know what happened. You have a long leader, so once you hit the sinker, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, gonna start handlining it from there. <laughs> it's every bit of 30. <laughs> oh, well, it, it definitely got you in the rocks to begin with, It didn't definitely it? got me in the rocks, yeah. Here it comes. I see something coming up. Just swing the uh, sinker to me. Sinker to you. Okay, I hold on, a, on the sinker here, Bree. Hold All right, it. I'm here. gonna free spool that a little bit. Grab the sinker so we don't get knocked out. Bad. Handline and you're fishing. Let's see what you have. I think it's a mutton. That look like a mutton to, to you? I think so. Yeah? I thought the color. That <gasps> looks like a mutton to me. It's a mutton, it's a mutton! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It was a legal size mutton and uh, it was just legal, so we decided to uh, release it back and let it grow some more. But I think in the interest of conservation and karma, we did have a uh, fish box with some nice dolphin. We decided to let this fish go and we'll come back when things about 15, 18 pounds and catch it then. So it was a perfect way to cap a fishing trip off, head back into the pilot house marina. Being, you know, the nice guy I am, I gave her a choice. Bree, um, you can help me out here. Would you like to clean the fish or would you like to wash the boat? Immediately, she said, wash the boat. And in my mind, yes, score on that one. So uh, she took all the star bright and did one heck of a job on the boat. And I took the dolphin up to the cleaning table and filleted the dolphin. Some of the perks of doing these TV uh, episodes, especially in the Florida Keys, because the Florida Keys, a lot of these restaurants are really known for bring your own catch and they'll cook it for you. The Pilot House, Marina and Restaurant is no exception. They had it set up where we bring them dolphin and we brought our entire production team to the table at night and they cooked it uh, what they call family style, three different ways. It was blackened, it was grilled, it was fried. And I've got to tell you, it was just a tremendously good dinner night and one that you always remember. That's always a special part about coming to the Keys and just sharing a, a good dinner, a fresh catch that you caught on your own with the team. Being able to fish with George is its a complete honor. I mean, what you see on the TV is, is what you get in real life. And I'm just 
so thankful to be able to, you know, get out there with him and, and learn um, from all the years that he spent on the water. And, and I'm definitely going to be taking back uh, what I learned from this trip and applying it to uh, that offshore uh, sea dew fishing and kayak fishing. And I'm just really thankful that he had me come out this year. If you want to keep track of our fishing adventures, we welcome you to follow us on our social media. I'm on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash George.Poveromo. I'm on Instagram at George Poveromo. And you could see our shows in 4K broadcast quality on YouTube at my YouTube channel, which is George Poveromo TV. Jump aboard and ride along with us.